So we are in Fierska, I think, Slovenia, um, with uh, the white wine from Heaps Good Wine. And um, we have a couple wines from them this month. Um, we have a pet nat as well. And this is their uh, blend. It's got native grapes in, from Slovenia, some Chardonnay, and Muscat Autonel, which I'm pretty sure is Muscat, but grown there. Um, the ABV is pretty low. It's 11.5% 2019. So it actually does have some age on it, which is something to consider. Um, the color is a little bit more golden. I think that's probably why. My assumption is, I don't know if it was in oak, uh, but it kind of has like, well, it's giving a little bit away, but it kind of has some of the qualities that would make me think it's potentially in oak, as well as um, uh, a little bit creamy, which makes me think it probably has least contact. So sorry to give away before we actually try it, but um, that's my assumption about how it was made. And we'll see what we, um, we'll see what we find when we try it. So anyways. At the top, it actually is like almost a little bit petroly, which surprises me because normally I get that with like Rieslings. Um, but it's like very minerally, almost like chalky, like white florals, light ones. And then towards the bottom, it's like lime zesty, yellow apples. There's a lot here, which makes sense because it's also, um, it has some age on it. I think it has, or I think it also, I'm getting like baking, uh, what's it called? Herbs. Like, oh yeah, yeah. Like not herbaceous that it's like, uh, green, but more like sage or rosemary or something like that. So let's try it. So really lovely round mouthfeel. Like I said, it is a little bit creamy. Um, the finish is super long. It's honestly like such a price performer for how much it costs, the amount of things that you're getting out of it, and uh, the length of the finish is like wow. It's more medium bodied too, which I really like for food, but it's also low ABV, which gives you so many options. So I love the idea of this with like fish curry. I like the idea of this with like basically like probably some different types of seafood. But then it, you could also really go like maybe like seafood pastas, stuff like that. Um, but it does have enough depth that you could put it with potentially like some pork, especially like with like a light salsa or something with that pork. Um, yeah, it's just got enough weight to it. It's really good by itself, but it is a really great food wine. So, um, yeah, I think that I hope you really enjoy it. And if you really like it, grab some more because... It's pretty inexpensive and it's the perfect one to put with like a dinner party. So enjoy.